Hey, what's up guys? So in today's perfumery basics video, we're going to yet again, take a look at three more materials that you can use in your perfumery blends. So in today's uh, video, I, I kind of wanted to do a woody theme. So I picked three random uh, woody materials that I have in my stash. Uh, and so we'll just kind of go through them real quick one by one. So without further ado, here's the first material. Now this first material we're going to take a look at today is Amberwood F by Simrise. Now this material in particular is one of my personal favorite woody materials to use, especially if you are going to use this for like a clean aquatic men's summertime fragrance. This works really, really well. So the funny thing with this fragrance though, it doesn't really smell that woody. When some people think wood, they think like sandalwood, cedar, ouds, you know, all these other kind of woods. This one doesn't really smell woody. So because the name is amber wood, this actually is more of like a clean ambergris, which has that kind of aquatic sweet feel backed with a little bit of a clean woody facet behind it. So if you were to smell this material, I would probably say this is more 65% probably ambergris note and 35% woody note, but the woody note is very clean. If you look up this material online, uh, Simrise actually says it's supposed to be an ambergris with a woody facet, but the woodness is so faint, I don't really detect a cedar wood, but it is a dry wood. Uh, when I smell this, immediately it reminds me of any sort of men's aquatic blue fragrance. I mean like Blue de Chanel. Anything that just has aquatic, like an aquatic nautica vibe. This just, it just reminds me instantly of this. Um, so the interesting though, the interesting thing with this, because it is a wood, or it's, it's a type of wood, this doesn't last as long as most woody materials would. So this lasts on a paper strip about 170 hours, which technically classifies this more of a middle note, but it has some woody facets to it. So this is more of like a trend, to me it's like a transitional note from middle to base. So if you're gonna use this in a blend, I would say this is probably gonna be more for if you're making a, an accord for like an ambergris kind of accord, this would, this would blend real well with that. Uh, if you're gonna try and rely on this strictly as your wood note, you might be a little bit disappointed because it's more ambergris heavy than it is wood. But not, that's not to say that you can't do that. So usage for this, they say that you can use this up to about 5% maximum in your concentrate. But again, with anything fragrance, there are no rules. Uh, you can go above or below that. There's no IFRA restrictions on this material at all. So. The way that I like to use this is I like to dilute this down or pre-dilute this material down to 50% just to start with. And that's only if I'm going to use this as a main featured note in my perfume. So if I'm working on like a men's aquatic fragrance and I know I, I need some sort of like sea uh, ambergris accord and I want that featured, I will probably use this uh, with a pre-diluted uh, dilution of 50% and use it freely at that. But if you're going to use this more of like a nuance or a modifying note to an already wood note that you have in your perfume, I would then dilute this down to about 20% and use this as like a modifying note. So if you already have a, a perfume in mind that you're using, maybe a cedar or, or something like that, and you're like, well, I wanna take the cedar and kind of tweak it a little bit, use this in a 20% pre-dilution and then modify your cedar with it. And it'll give it a nice kind of ambergris kind of twist. So. Amberwood F by Simrise. It's a real good one. Okay, so this next material we're gonna take a look at now is Teak Wood by Ferminich. And this one, ah, my God. Every time I smell it, it just brings a, a big smile to my face because I love this material so much. Now this is probably the cleanest wood I have ever smelled in a material. It's super clean super light, it's super bright, it's crisp, and it, it, it is woody, but it's so clean, it almost comes off as like a, like a soapy nuance to it. It's the, like I said, it's the cleanest wood that I've ever smelled. So when you smell something like cedar, you get that cedar box kind of cedar chest vibe, or if you smell oud, you, you pick up that kind of dirty animalic or leathery notes. 
This is straight up just soapy clean wood. It is so clean. It's the freshest and the cleanest of all the woods that I've ever smelled. So this is really, really great if you're doing a men's, again, another like men's summer fragrance where you just want to push out like the super clean men's vibe and you need a woody note and you want to use something different. Teak wood from Furminich is so, so good for this. Now this one is going to last a little bit longer than Amberwood F. So this is about 300 hours on a paper strip. So this is considered a base note. So you can use this as a base note as you would with any other wood. And again, you can use this up to about 5% max in your concentrate. Uh, that's about average use for this. Uh, again, you can go above or below depending on your needs, but 5% is the average. And same thing with Amberwood F. I would probably start using this at a 50% pre-dilution in your small trial blends, because this is actually a pretty strong odor for me. Like when I smelled all the other woods, even though this is super clean, bright and soapy, it's pretty, the odor strength is pretty strong on this for me. So I always start with a 50% pre-dilution. And if I'm going again, use this as a modifier to another pre-existing wood note in my perfume, I would then pre-dilute this further down to 20% and then use it as that so I can easily dose it and kind of stack it with other woods. So again, yeah, teak wood from Furminich. If you want the cleanest, freshest, soapiest smelling wood, this one, I haven't found anything cleaner than this. It's amazing. On to the next one. Okay, so this last wood material we're gonna take a look at today is just a classic staple standby. This is cedar wood essential oil. Now, this one is from Texas. And you can get cedar woods uh, from Virginia, from Texas, varying states, different countries. Uh, I always came back to the Texas one because it's readily, easily supplied here for me. And when I smell this, it, again, it's a classic. It's that cedar chest, kind of cedar box smelling wood. Very, very dry. Now, the funny thing with this, though, is anytime I smell cedar wood, or at least the cedar wood from Texas region, when I use this in a blend, I'm always instantly picking up that uh, young school kind of like pencil shaving vibe. So if you remember as a childhood when you had that old school kind of a pencil machine where you sharpen your pencils and you just pick up all that shavings of wood, that's to me, Cedarwood, Texas smells just like that in a blend. Now on a paper strip on its own, I pick up this big robust kind of cedar wood box like some people's closets are lined with cedar wood and when you walk in you just pick up this waft of just thick cedar wood. But in a blend it turns up into a pencil shavings vibe which which is okay. If you're familiar with a men's fragrance by Lalique called Lalique White, they heavily use cedar wood in that fragrance and it's it's primarily a pencil shaving vibe throughout all through the fragrance. Now this is the longest lasting of the three woods that I'm gonna show you today. This is about 390 hours on a paper strip. So definitely, definitely is a long lasting base note. And this one you could use, or they say online, uh, that you can use this up to 20% max in your concentrate. But for me, cedar wood, especially from Texas, I find it so strong. I would probably say don't go any higher than 10% or above in your perfume concentration because Again, if you go above 10%, you're really gonna you're, you're really gonna put out that kind of pencil shaving uh, cedar vibe. Which, if that's something you're going for, great. But it could be off-putting and too easily detectable to some people. So I would say stick around 10% or less in your perfume concentrate with this. So because this is strong to my nose, when I use this material, I do pre-dilute it down to 20% because I find this very strong. And I like to stack cedar wood with other woods. So, but because it's so, it's such a tenacious odor and it's, it's got that, uh, it, it just pokes through the mix so easily when you, when you mix it that I really always use this at a 20% pre-dilution before I use it in any of my blends. Okay, so that was it. So that was quick and easy three woods that you can uh, take a look at online. And you know, if you wanna make some purchases, you can always get them at uh, perfumersapprentice.com. There's uh, creatingperfume.com, Perfumer Supply House, uh, Pell Wall over in the UK. So many places carry all these different things. So uh, with that being said, until the next video, until next time.